Hello guys, this is Ronit from MathX and today we're going to be solving the number 20 of the AIMC8 uh, 2023. Now this problem is a bit tricky and a bit confusing. But we'll be able to solve this problem in no time using some nice tricks. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get started. In a sequence of positive integers, each term after the second is the product of the previous two terms. The sixth term is 4,000. What is the first term? So, since we see in this problem that each term after the second is the product of the previous two, one thing that would be quite useful for us is going to be what is the prime factorization of 4,000? Because then we'll find out what numbers will be multiplying to it in the long game. So like, let's first start with that. So 4,000, so 4,000 is gonna be equal to, let's just simplify this down, it's just gonna be equal to two to the fifth times five cubed. So 2 to the 5th times 5 cubed would be the 4,000 here. As you can probably see here, that if you have 2 uh, times 5, then 3 times, so that's going to be 10 cubed, which is going to be 1,000. Then multiply by 2 squared, that's equal to 4,000. So we just quickly got the prime factorization here. 4,000 equals 2 to the 5th times 5 cubed. So now one thing that we could set up here is that since it says each term after the second is a product of the previous two terms, we can kind of set up a sequence here with uh, two variables. Because we always know that 4,000 is factored into only two different numbers. So if you just have two variables represented for the first two numbers, so we can start with that. So the first term we'll call x, then the second term we'll call y, then the third term will have to be the product of x and y, so x, y, then the fourth number here would be x, y squared, as that's gonna be y times x, y, and then the fifth term here would be x squared y cubed. And then the sixth term here, which will be our 4,000, would be represented as x y squared times x squared y cubed, which is x cubed y to the fifth. Now, you can probably notice here that x cubed y to the fifth is the same format of the prime factorization of 4,000, 5 cubed 2 to the fifth. So you can probably simply get here that x would have to be equal to 5, and y is equal to 2. Because since this sixth term here is 5 cubed times 2 to the fifth, and that would be represented as x cubed y to the fifth, and our first term here was x, so that means x would be equal to five. As you can see here, we just solved this problem just using some clever tricks to kind of notice this pattern, and we just really read into the problem and formatted our solution in that way. So nothing hard, nothing difficult, all that you require to solve these kind of problems is just a bunch of practice. But anyways, as you can see, we've solved this problem, meaning we are now officially finished.